All right, cheeseburger chowder. This is a soup I've been making for my family for years, and um, it's really one of our favorites. I don't make it very often because it's a little bit naughty, um, but it's so good. So it starts out with some ground beef, and I'm just going to get the, the ground beef going. About a pound, pound and a half. We have all new shows in February, so some really fun things planned. Tomorrow it's all about slow cooking, so if you're looking for some new recipes for that slow cooker, make sure and watch tomorrow because we have some great ones. And then next week, lots of great recipes for Valentine's Day. Okay, so I'm just going to get this going. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to dice up some celery. Hey, our big night out is coming up on Monday, and you are invited. We're headed to the Appleton Beer Factory. Five-course meal paired with wine. Still a few openings left, but this one went very, very quickly. But uh, if you call today, you might be able to still get in on this. Um, it's going to be a fantastic night, so we hope to see you there. It's, you know, for sometimes for Valentine's Day week, you got to create your own fun. So come join us Monday night. I will be there, and I can't wait. And if you're looking for more details, um, you can go to our website and then just click on that big red, um, black, and white box here that says Big Night Out. You'll see the whole menu. You'll see all the details. And the number to call, by the way, if you want to reserve your spot, and I would definitely call today, uh, is 920-364-9931. Okay, so in with the ground beef, I'm going to add some onion, some finely diced onion, and our celery. in there. And when you're making soups, it's really important to season as you go. So I'm going to do some garlic salt and some black pepper, rather than just throwing in some salt and pepper at the end. Kind of season as you go. All right, this is starting to look perfect. So once the beef starts to um, get nice and crumbly and no longer pink, we're going to use some flour to thicken this up. And because we've got a little bit of grease, not a whole ton, but a little bit of grease from the beef, we don't need to add oil or butter or anything like that. So we've got a few tablespoons of flour. really nice, thick, hearty, kind of rib sticking recipe. Perfect for a cold winter day like today. So at this point, we're going to add chicken stock. And milk. About four to six cups of milk. We love our Lamer's whole milk in the glass bottle. So I'm just going to let that come to a boil a little bit. Now with the chowder, so uh, chowder has some sort of potato uh, in it. 
and I am not a huge fan of peeling and dicing potatoes. I don't know about you, but it's not my favorite thing. So one of the things that I love to do in soups and stews, kind of a shortcut is I keep bags of frozen uh, southern style, which is the cube style of hash brown potato in my freezer. And I use those um, when a recipe um, calls for, a lot of times when a recipe calls for a potato, like a soup or if it's a pot pie or something like that, and I just don't feel like peeling and, and dicing potatoes. Those frozen potatoes work great. You don't even need to let them completely thaw because when they hit that warm soup, they'll do that on their own. So um, just using some of the frozen cube style potatoes, and that's obviously gonna really thicken up the soup and make it nice and hearty. See how thick it's already getting. Now it's a cheeseburger chowder, and I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever met a burger that didn't like a little bit of cheese. So for the cheese, because this is such a great melting cheese, I'm actually going to use um, Velveeta, just cubed Velveeta. I'm going to add that in there. I told you it's a little bit naughty, but I don't know, I have been, this week, I've been hungry and trying to keep warm and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's tough to eat real healthy when it's this cold outside. So that cheese is starting to melt a little bit. Now the fun part about this soup, it's a cheeseburger chowder. And what's very much on trend right now is with your soup, serving some fun fixings to go on top. So think like chili bar when you have a, um, a big batch of chili and then you put out all the, all the fixings, the shredded cheese, the sour cream, uh, the you know, maybe hot sauce, uh, maybe fresh cilantro, jalapeno peppers, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, Fritos, and yes, that's a good one with chili. I love some crushed Fritos on my chili. Uh, so think of the same thing a cheeseburger chowder, I do a pizza soup where um, I, um, in fact, I did that earlier this week on Good Day Wisconsin, and you, when you serve the soup, you put out in little bowls different, your favorite pizza toppings to put on top, so pepperoni and uh, sliced mushrooms, green pepper, things like that. So same thing for the cheeseburger, uh, you want to put out your favorite fixings that you would put on a cheeseburger that would go really nicely with this soup. So uh, we have a little bit of extra cheddar cheese that we can throw on top, some diced tomato, if you like a little tomato on your burger. And really what makes this soup, and I kid you not, um, one of my favorite things, this is just some diced dill pickle or sliced dill pickle. And you're gonna say, pickle in the soup, it works. Trust me, it really does. It's, it's one of the things that makes this soup extra special. So our cheese is starting to melt and this chowder is starting to look thick and wonderful. I'm telling you, this is a family favorite really is fantastic. And you can certainly add a little more cheese, uh, shredded cheddar to the chowder and also serve a little on top. More cheese, more better in my book. And then we also have some heavy cream. We're just going to throw in, and this is optional, you don't have to do that, um, but just a little splash of heavy cream at the end. Really makes it rich and wonderful and hearty. And then I can tell being that we talked about seasoning all the way through, maybe a little more garlic salt or salt and pepper, and we are about ready to roll. How good does that look, Ann? I just want to dive in. Come home after a hard day to a nice big bowl of cheeseburger chowder. Mm-hmm, now we're talking. So you just ladle this into bowls. And the other thing I like about this soup recipe is that it doesn't take all day long. Uh, we threw that together in 15, 20 minutes. So it's a quick fix. But if it gets a little too thick on you, you can certainly add a little more milk, a little extra shredded cheddar cheese on top, maybe a few diced tomatoes. And definitely for me, I love dill pickle on my burger. And you do dill pickle on your? Negative. No? Oh, goodness gracious. What are we going to do with you? Uh, but the, the dill pickle, if you're a dill pickle fan at all, really does work. Just a little bit is really fun. And we'll put the recipe for this chowder, by the way. Um, if you're looking for it, you can definitely get it on our website. Coming up next, tips on how to put together the perfect cheese plate 
for your next wine and cheese party and later two different cheesecake recipes. So stick around, it's getting cheesy on this show. We'll be right back.